Hello fellow students of Jewish history. I'm really excited about coming to Vancouver and speaking to you and your wonderful congregation very soon. Um, I just want to share a very quick idea about this week's Parsha, Bishalach. There's a fascinating passage that I've always enjoyed. It is actually, the, in my humble opinion, the first example of humor in the Torah. People don't always think of the Torah as a very funny book, but in fact, it has a tremendous amount of humor in it. There's an earlier passage in Genesis that has a, you know, rivals this one, but this is definitely no question very funny. Uh, listen to this. So if you look up in Exodus 14, uh, verse 10, there's a discussion of the Jews. They've just left Egypt and they've come up to the shores of the Yamsuf, of the sea that they have to cross. And they see the Egyptians coming up behind them. And so... Uh, the, the Jews are standing in that place of extreme danger. And at that really incredibly frightening moment, the Jews see the Egyptians coming up behind them and they, they cry out to Hashem and then they turn to Moses. And according to some commentators, a different group of Jews. But at any rate, they turn to Moses and they say, Vayomer al Moshe, they say to Moses, Hamible ein kvarim b'mitzrayim? Lakachteno lamos midbar." Were there no graves in Egypt that you had to bring us out to the desert to die? Right? It's a very funny kind of like sarcastic statement. Like, seriously, you brought us all the way here to die? We could have died in Egypt. That really would have been much easier, wouldn't it? Now, this is actually a very serious topic as well. Rav Samson Rafael Hirsch, a great 19th century commentator on the Torah, among other things, great architect in many ways of modern Jewish identity. He writes on this verse. This sharp irony, even in the moment of extreme fear and despair, characterizes that humorous streak that is inherent in the tribe of Jacob. Meaning this is really something that characterizes the Jews, that even when things look so desperate, they will find, nevertheless, a ray of humor in it. Now, I know we live right now in extremely difficult times. October 7th still hangs over us, and we are still reeling with the shock of that horrific attack and of the consequences of that attack that continue to reverberate throughout the entire Jewish world and really is the focus of international attention. But I believe that there is a unique strength to Jewish culture, a refusal to despair, even under the most desperate conditions that would ultimately serve to reinforce our strength and to see us through this horrific moment in our long history. May the hostages be speedily released. May all of the soldiers come home safely to their families. And may we see an end to this conflict speedily in our days. I'm looking forward to seeing you in Vancouver. I hope you have an excellent Shabbos.